Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. You're watching Project Dark Knight Horror and I am your host, The Dark Knight. Today we're focusing on ghosts, poltergeists and demons. We're going to take a deep dive into the world of the paranormal. So stick the kettle on and make a cup of tea and let me show you the truth. It's that time again. So close the door, shut the curtains and turn off the lights and go full screen as you get ready to watch Scariest paranormal videos that will 100% have you checking under your bed. Check dark paranormal TV For our first case, we're joining a family who since 2021 have been living alongside the paranormal in their home. After a lot of digging, I was informed that the brother and sister took part in a Ouija board session because they were curious if the legend of the board was real. So, without any experience, research or protection, the siblings half-heartedly took part in their first Ouija board session. But it didn't turn out the way they planned. Now. I'm not sure exactly what happened because the siblings were blamed for the paranormal activity that started in their home. So the information has been kept quiet, but suffice to say the board wasn't closed down after the session and it remained open. And by the time they had guessed that the weird noises and activity was because of the Ouija board, two days had already passed by. They did physically close down the board and shut down the doorway but the damage had already been done. This happened in 2021, but they didn't have CCTV at the time. The family have been living a nightmare every day for the past two years, and the paranormal activity has steadily been increasing ever since. The following CCTV you're about to watch spans the last two years. Watch. The activity has become so common and happens constantly that almost no one reacts anymore. Like when this door opens in the kitchen, they all notice it and see it open, but they just carry on because it's normal now.
Mum and Dad constantly get woken up in the middle of the night and as Mum gets up to use the toilet, something very violently pulls the sheets from Dad. Watch. The sheet is pulled so fast and so hard that it moves the dad and it hurts his shoulder in the process. While the parents were out, the sister decided to set up a makeshift trap to try and catch some concrete proof of the paranormal. Well, it worked and what she captured scared her even more. Watch. Fifteen minutes later, when she looked, this is what she found. Weird prints were left in the flower. I'm not sure if they're footprints or handprints, but there were only three digits in each print instead of five. So what do you make of this? Do you believe it's real? That we're looking at the footprints or handprints of a ghost, shadow figure or a demon? Or do you think it's fake? To the uninitiated, it's hard to imagine that this is real, but stranger things have happened and mum and dad have both gone on record and stated that the paranormal activity that happens in their home is 100% legit.
also. Well, so there you have it folks. The channel's fairly new and quite small. Hopefully their paranormal problems will go away on their own, but just in case it doesn't, then let's give the channel some support by liking and sharing their content so they know we're watching. The name of the channel is on screen. And as usual, when you get there, don't forget, tell them the Dark Knight sent you. Thank you. Project Dark Knight. Hey, un fantasma en me casa. There's a ghost in my house. For our next case, we're traveling to New Mexico, where a man lives with his family in a haunted house. The man is a self-confessed ghost hunter, and he and his friends visit many so-called haunted locations in and around his city. This is starting to become a regular theme on my channel. A person hunts ghosts. The person visits a haunted location. The person gets followed home by the spirit. And then the person's home is haunted. This is exactly what happened here. One day, strange loud noises were coming from the garage. After five minutes of continuous sounds, he set up his camera and this is what happened. Watch. Are you evil? Is that a yes or a no? If you're evil, flick the light again. Okay.
Chances are there will be people watching this who have had extreme poltergeist activity. It happens a lot more than you'd think. Some people fear being ridiculed, so some cases go unreported. But thanks to social media and channels like mine, researching, sharing and watching cases like this gets easier and easier and happens more and more. There are still those who don't believe in the afterlife. And these are the eyes that I want to open. What's wrong? What's wrong, Charlie? Oh, TV's going. Oh, shit. Here we go. Where's this TV going? There's no one back there. Nothing there. Nothing there at all. The show underneath the TV. You can see that there's nothing underneath the base. Over the coming weeks and months, the poltergeist got stronger and stronger, and the presence in the home felt evil. Watch. Still see that? Ooh. Shit. Oh, I'm not putting my hand in that. Oh shit. Holy shit. 
doors off its freaking hinges. We've seen the poltergeist open and close cupboards and move TVs, but this is a solid wooden bookshelf and it's filled with books. And yet, the poltergeist is strong enough to move it with ease. Then, in January 2022, the strength of the poltergeist increased. This is where things can get very dangerous. This is the second case that I've been told about and researched. When the key is in the door, the entity opens it, essentially unlocking the door and leaving it wide open. Now, imagine you're fast asleep or you got pets and small kids and this happens. Watch.
If you've been having paranormal problems, it's becoming apparent that ghosts, poltergeists and demons can turn keys. So, to keep yourself safe, lock it and remove the key. This has happened at least three times to the homeowner, according to his emails. He said he's been filming it, communicating with it and tracking it since August 2021 and his family is scared to be in the house. Poltergeists are harder to get rid of. They are made up of pure energy and are responsible for physical disturbances and loud noises and objects being thrown or destroyed. Some poltergeists take it further and have been known to push or hit people and in one or two cases that I've researched it can even bite. The name poltergeist comes from the German word polter meaning noise or racket and geist means spirit. This poltergeist turned out to be too strong for the homeowner and his family so they moved out of their home. In the conclusion of the final email I got, he told me not only did he move out, but he also stopped hunting for ghosts. It turns out the paranormal is fun and interesting and addictive unless it's haunting your home. I couldn't show you all of his clips because there were way too many, so if you want, you can jump on over to his channel. The name is on screen. He hasn't uploaded for over a year and in some clips he doesn't have any comments. So let's change that. If you do check out his channel, drop him a comment or two. But don't forget, tell him the Dark Knight sent you. Thank you. Mr. Smith's Ghost Our next case is going to be a quickie with six short clips. Now, I'm not 100% sure about this account because I couldn't get in touch with the homeowner and there's no background information. A homeowner who goes by the name of Mr. Smith from Manchester, England claims his house is haunted and he's uploaded these short clips to TikTok. Let me know what you think. been noises coming from this door all morning. I'll just sit here and record it for a minute.
Now, I'm not saying that this is fake, but someone could have been hiding behind this wall. He should have gone into the basement and pointed the camera into every nook and cranny where anyone could have been hiding. But at the same time, he could argue that he was scared and alone in the house and wanted to get out of there quick. So, I guess I'll have to leave it up to you to decide. Like I said, this case was a quick one. There isn't enough evidence in these clips to make a definitive decision if there is actually paranormal activity taking place in his home. Everything I've seen could have been faked, but I wanted to run it past you first in case Mr. Smith turns out to be genuine and he uploads more content with more compelling proof. I'll keep an eye out for this account in the weeks to come, but for now, all we can do is wait. For fuck's sake. I'm sick of this shit now. If you want to analyse his account further, the name is on screen. The Cruise Station Poltergeist. The full story. Do you remember this clip? Workers at Crew Underground Station were doing some maintenance when, suddenly, they started hearing this loud rhythmic growling. Like an animal was trapped. But, as they got closer, they realised it was coming from underground. The weird thing was they couldn't see any animals and no other noises were present apart from this ominous breathy growling. To be fair, tales of ghosts and the supernatural in the underground stretch back hundreds of years to when people used to live under the streets. The poor and the destitute had to scrape out a living by begging, stealing, prostitution, gambling and murder, while the rich and the civilized lived up top in Victorian houses. Conditions underground would have been dark, damp and dangerous and there in the dark bad things happen. So it's no surprise that the underground is haunted. This is the story of a man called Colin who works at the Crew Underground Station and was the man who filmed and uploaded that video as he worked his shifts day to day at the haunted crew underground station. Colin would see, hear and feel the paranormal and lucky for us he documented most of it. This is the story behind the video. Now, have it, Mark. Oh, no. Hey. Go we'll see what it is. That's weird. Oh, it's 
Don't we go over that walk? Is it? Hmm. I don't know. It's okay. It's really though. It's uh, a tired walk. We're not left there. I don't know what it is. I do, yeah. It's left it up, I wonder. I think it's going in there. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. I don't know. It fucking seemed mate, and it fucking stopped. Do you not hear it stop? Come on, Rob. Get out. I'm going to leave because we've got to do tricks at the moment. Come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. One morning, when getting into the office, which is in the underground part of Cruise Station, England, Colin turned on the lights and was about to check his emails for any work that needed to be done that day when he noticed motion had been detected by the office's cameras and as he opened his notification the camera had picked up something weird and fast and it was captured at a time when no one was at work. This is what the camera captured. Watch. Fucking crazy. What the actual fuck is that? What is it? Kill it. See through. Let's enter the chair there. Real time. As he plays the footage, something that looks like an arm or a hoof can be seen. It's definitely not human because it's see-through and Colin was the first one into the office that day because the lights were still off. At any given time, there are only two to three people in the small office because most of the work is carried out in the station underground and the office is only used for payroll, emails and other office duties. This was one of the first documented occurrences that was captured and over the coming months, Colin got more and more wrapped up into the world of the paranormal.
It wasn't just Colin who noticed strange things that happened in the office. Other workers saw it too and refused to step into the office. But the more Colin checked the cameras and paid closer attention, the more he saw. latest occurrence I uh, actually felt this one this, this charged me right up I'm not I'm not even joking here this made every single hair on my body stand up when this was happening there's definitely something in the room so uh, you'll see me coming through there in a minute here I come grab me paperwork Go and have a look, go and stand next to it. Look at that. I felt it, and then what you can't see is around about here there was a cloth in the drain pipe in the in the radiator pipes. And it, that fell out. I mean it's pretty hard to, to fall out, it's proper wedged in. I went, carried on. Hey. <laughs> Colin believes that the activity isn't just present in the office, but also down in the tunnels. Just outside the office door is a hatch that leads down a ladder and into the underground part of the station. And this is where Colin went to explore one day. And it wouldn't be long before strange noises and poltergeist activity could be seen and heard. And Colin would be forced to run out of the tunnels from something unseen. Watch. It's been a while since I put something up, so I thought I'd take a little trip down. Feels a little bit ominous tonight. Fuck down here tonight. Like proper weird. <laughs>
does not feel good. in here. So do you think it was an animal or something else? And how do you explain the bottle sliding? Let me know your theories down below. The experiences that Colin went through at Crew Underground Station have stayed with him and have had an everlasting impact on the route his life has taken. These days, Colin has become a full-time paranormal investigator He's still working at the station, but he's now been investigating further afield at places such as caves and cemeteries. Everything in life happens for a reason. Take Colin for example. Because of the activity that happened at his work, he got interested in the world of ghosts, poltergeists and demons. And now he has a YouTube channel and investigates all manner of haunted locations. We all have our own parts to play in this life, so whatever path your journey takes you, I wish you well. Colin now joins the ranks of millions of people around the world who are fascinated by the world of the paranormal. And his journey has only just begun. So let's give him a helping hand by jumping on over to his YouTube channel. The name is on screen. and. When you get there, drop him a comment or two, but don't forget, tell him the Dark Knight sent you. Thank you. If you've seen something scary, creepy or amazing and you captured something paranormal on camera, or maybe you're a paranormal investigator and you need some help to get your content out there. Or you might be unlucky enough to live in a haunted house and you need some help and advice because you think you're all alone. Well, you're not. Project Dark Knight Horror is here for you. So send in your videos, clips, links, photos, stories, ideas and more to Project Dark Knight. The email is on screen. Thank you. Project Dark Knight. Paranormal House Flipping. For our last case, we're visiting a TikTok account that goes by the name of GBTV. Now, this account belongs to a couple who come from a family of house flippers. The term house flipping is when you buy a cheap, old or rundown house, you do it up, renovate it, paint it and flip it as soon as possible, generating a profit. 
This family have been house flipping for years and have built up an impressive portfolio. Then, Covid struck and everything changed. Companies went out of business, restaurants closed and we were all stuck at home. But, through the pandemic, some businesses prospered and house flipping was one of them. And it was during the pandemic that this family bought an old rundown 1920s house without checking the paperwork or the location. And it turned out that this impulsive purchase was to prove a lot more trouble than they bargained for. The plan was simple. Empty and gut it, rewire and plaster it, renovate and paint it, and then flip it. But as they started, they found a hidden room which was sealed up. Not knowing what they were doing, they tore it down and opened the door. And on closer inspection, they found this. Watch. We found a hidden room. Part two. At first we thought it was empty. But there was something hanging from the ceiling in a bag. It was hanging from this hook. Why would someone hide this away? What should we do with it? That Bible looks very old, but why would someone bag it, seal it and hang it on a hook in a secret room? After this post, the account was flooded with comments like, you've just released whatever was in there, or you've made a terrible mistake, or put the Bible back. So the family decided to destroy the secret room. They didn't believe in the paranormal or curses and the house needed to be sold and they were on a deadline and so the hidden room was destroyed. The hidden room essentially was a cupboard and so they opened it up which made the space bigger and it appealed to a broader market. Then came the day when they had to work in the attic and again the plan was simple gut it and rebuild it, but as soon as they entered the attic, they saw a lonely suitcase lying in the corner and a blanket hanging off one of the beams. They did what anyone would have done in their situation and that was to open it. But what they found in the suitcase turned out to be really disturbing. Watch. We never checked the attic. Who would leave this behind? We had to open it. Its contents are a bit disturbing. It seemed to be some sort of burnt figure, a dusty teddy bear and a box in a wrapped bag. At first we thought it was a second Bible. Does 
anybody know what this is? Due to the nature of the items, we've been told to send it off for official testing. We'll keep you updated. They kept finding hidden items in different spots all over the house. Just after discovering the suitcase which had a makeshift crucifix inside, they found an old mirror hidden in the wall. This mirror could have and most probably was used in some type of seance or ritual or even something satanic if the other items were anything to go by. Also, they found a box with these weird objects inside. If you're watching this and you think you know what these things are, then please drop me a comment down below and let me know. Well, one of those questions were about to be answered. As they moved the blanket, they discovered an old burnt photograph. I wonder who lived in this house before, and I wonder, after finding all these creepy items that were obviously hidden, did the house flippers do any research on the property? On closer inspection, the photo turned out to be partially burnt, and one of the men had their eyes burnt out. These were probably some of the people that lived in the house once upon a time. Then, things went from bad to downright messed up. They found another object, and this box had some mysterious writing carved into the wood. And, on the other side, was a pentagram. Now, after doing my research, I thought the carving would have been Jewish, but it turns out that the writing that was carved into the wood was Welsh, and it translated to Do not release. But of course, in pure social media, wanting to get as many views as possible fashion, they opened it, and you'll never believe where the key was. Watch. Imagine finding this in your attic. I was only trying to fill the gaps in the wall with insulation. But this story keeps getting darker. It looks old, and there's writing carved into the lid. It's locked. I wonder if there's a key. Can anyone translate this? I'll look for a key and see if I can open it. They must have had some balls of steel because not only did they open a box which had the words do not release carved into the wood and a pentagram, but they also smashed a mirror. And inside the box, they found an old burnt planchette, a necklace, another key, and a lock of hair. So it turns out that the other key had its use. When it came to laying the loft insulation, as they were lifting the old, they found something else on a whole different level. 
a picture is starting to form about the people who used to live in this house. It looks like they were either into the occult or dabbled with it and a fire may have started. The burnt photo may be a clue. Maybe people died in the fire because of the Ouija board. Who knows? But whoever boxed up these objects wanted to keep the board and the planchette apart. And again, there was more Welsh writing. This time it translated to, do not let it speak. Just when they thought it was all over, they found something else. It was time to renovate the fireplace and check the chimney. As they were inspecting the chimney, to make sure it was clear, in the light of their torch, they spotted something just out of reach. Watch. Our chimney hasn't been used in over a hundred years. But there's something lodged halfway up. Let me explain. So me and Georgia decided to replace this broken gas fireplace. We wanted to expose the original bricks. I was checking the rear of the mantle, and that's when I saw it. I couldn't reach it, so I had to get up into the chimney. There's definitely something inside. The box was full of quartz crystals, which are known for protection and healing. Whoever lived in this house was very superstitious. Also, inside the box was an old postcard from 1940s Thailand and a letter addressed to this house that they were working on. The writing was in Thai, and inside the letter were two old British coins. These two old one penny coins, on today's market, are worth between four and five hundred pounds each. So, it was quite a nice little find. So they got the letter translated, and this is what it said. According to the letter, someone who lived in this house went to Thailand in the 1940s and bought something that should never have been sold in the first place. And there was talk about a family curse. The seller in Thailand felt so scared and so strongly about the curse that he even refunded the money he was given. The letter references the trinket box that they found in the attic. There's one more part to the story, and for that, they had to go to Thailand. You see, on the back of the letter was a return address of the person who sold the box. So the guys decided to pay the family a visit. If you want to watch the last part of the story, I highly recommend you jump over to TikTok and check out GBTV. The name is on screen. And see what happened when they landed in Thailand. But don't forget, when you get there, tell them the Dark Knight sent you. Thank you. If you've made it to the end, then I salute you. You prove that you're a true fan of horror. So remember, if you're interested in ghosts, poltergeists and demons, cursed objects, haunted houses and random nautica, 
animal attacks, serial killers and strange dark mysteries, then Project Dark Knight Horror is the channel for you. If you like what you see and you think I deserve it, then can I kindly ask you to press the subscribe button for me. It's absolutely free for you and just with the click of your finger you can help my channel grow and the bigger the channel the more videos I can make for you. This year my goal is to hit half a million subscribers so I really could use some help. Before you go I have three more quick things to talk about. First off if you're a fan of horror why not join Project Dark Knight on my private Facebook group. There you'll be in great company. We have lots of different people from lots of different backgrounds from lots of different countries but we all share one thing in common and that is our love for horror. So click the link in the description section and join the group and let's have some fun. Next if you didn't know I've designed some merch. I've combined my love for horror with my love for all things urban and what you see is the finished product. So if you want to grab a piece of Project Dark Knight history, the link is down below. And remember, they are original to the channel and have been designed by myself, the Dark Knight. And who knows, when my channel blows up, these could become collector items. So grab them while you can. The link is down below. And lastly, I'd like to thank my lovely Patreons who have been a valuable member of Project Dark Knight. Some of the names on this list have been with me from the beginning. These names are Thorson Lip, Turtle Chief 9, Julie Six, Andrew M. Gross, Laura Rohde, Cookie Ooh, I Don't Know, Countess Monette, Greasy Cox, Donna Sayers, D. Michael Smith, Catherine Murphy, Sean Squillis, Trumpet, Anna, KJ Majid, Honey Badger, Charlie X24, Judah, Jimmy's Jammin, Christy Santa Steven, Seth J, and Asia C. It's thanks to generous people like you who believe and support the channel that I can keep making these videos and keep the engines running at Project Dark Knight. And always remember, you've been watching Project Dark Knight Horror and I am the Dark Knight. Signing off. Peace! Don't ever laugh as the hearse goes by For you may be the next to die They wrap you up in a big white sheet From your head down to your feet They put you in a big black box And cover you up with dirt and rock